you know, a, a long-term ban on oil gas leasing is going to cost about 62,000 uh, jobs in New Mexico, and we have the senator from New Mexico here, about 33,000 jobs in Wyoming, 18,000 jobs in Colorado. A long-term ban is going to cut revenues to New Mexico and Wyoming by hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, which these states uh, use for K-2 public education, other essential services. I'm just curious how a long-term ban consistent with the President's goal of unifying our country and putting Americans back to work and helping our economies uh, grow, uh, how is that all consistent? I think the President's plan of building back better which would create more jobs in energy, clean energy, uh, than the jobs that might be sacrificed. But I will say this, no job, we don't want to see any jobs sacrificed. And that's why this, when you opened up your remarks, sir, your, um, your remarks about technology were so important. This is why um, reducing GHG emissions is so important on, in the fossil fuel arena. The, the moratorium on public lands. I know for those states that have these jobs in abundance, this is something we're going to have to work on together to ensure that people are, remain employed. But I will say that the licenses that um, currently are operating are not going to be disrupted. They will continue to operate. And the oil and gas industry uh, in particular, they've got um, 10,000 licenses that they have and that will not be disrupted, that they can continue to permit and deploy and, and extract energy from. It is only on future licenses that this moratorium is. So it gives us some time to be able to work on creating jobs and diversifying and providing good paying jobs in every pocket of the country.